Welcome to the Mommy and Me Show. Woo! Welcome to the Fonseca Mommy and Me Show, everyone. Today we're going to talk about The Investigators. It is a book series that came out during COVID, like the beginning of COVID. I'm not sure. December, well, COVID started like in January like or December. But I'm not really sure, but I think it came out like December are or you t- like... Are you talking about the original Investigators or the one that you're reading now? The first one. The very, 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 very first one? Yep. Oh, and, and what is your source of information? How do you know? Uh, how do I know about Investigators? You are so excited about it. Like, you want everyone to stop what they're doing to listen. Isn't that right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, how do you th- how do you know that it came out during COVID? Um, because it said on the box. It told you, like, each, like, when it was, like, made. And, like, the first one, it said it was made in 2020. And then the second one was made in, uh, in 2020. So, now, how many books are out there? There is actually six books out there. Oh, very good. But you have actually a comic book, don't you? Yeah, it's uh, it's one you cannot get anymore. It it's one that came out like uh, let's say like it came out like in like like in twenty twenty. Yeah, it came out, like in twenty twenty before COVID. Now, did you know there is actually a YouTube channel with the Investigators series trailers? Yeah. Do you you know anything? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it tells you about a little bit about the sneak peeks on the books. Mm -hmm. If you watch the uh, YouTube short videos. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good, I, I would say, but... But sometimes, like, the voice acting, I was surprised how good it was. Because, like, I never, like, heard of the voices before. Because, you know, you can think of any voices you want before. Like, it can be, like, dark or, like, light. But, like, sometimes they can be, like, actors, you know? No, um, it's pretty cool. But what is this investigator? Like, what if someone never heard about this since they came out in 2020? What is it about? It's about, um, in like, they are in investing, like, they're investigators. So, like, they, like, do missions. And um, one of them is, like, um, there's, like, sneak peeks from there. Like, uh, like... There's like transforming stuff in there. Like someone transforms into like four things. Or or I should say five things. Right, because, and what are these guys' names? Isn't that Mango and Brush? Yeah. Now, what, are they humans or are they something else? They are crocodiles. Now, and then they deal with this high technology, right? It's not like a whole land of crocodiles, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's something that's really cool. I think you have a guest listener here that has some questions for you. So what? So what's that question, sir? Aren't they alligators? Because crocodiles and alligators aren't the same. And they're investigators, like alligators. So, um, okay, so are they crocodiles or alligators? I don't really... So... So, wait a minute. If it's called investigators, wouldn't, if they're crocodiles, wouldn't it be investigators, aiders, crocodiles, uh, something like that? It is actually, they are alligators. They are alligators, right? And that's how we learn, people, right? We go, oopsie, and we listen to the audience and others, and then we go, oh, I bet we're always going to remember that, right? Okay, yeah. how do you know what's an alligator versus a crocodile? Because I don't know. Do you remember what our guest listener said yeah because like in the title it says investigators and a crocodile is like oh weird because like it's like a different name but like um the author also the author this his name is john patrick green he's a, a really good person um now how do you know he's a good person because like um 
Uh, he like man, like he's like his buddy was like we talked about this before, you know, like um, the uh, Dog Man series. Uh, he's friends with um, the Dave Pilkley actually. Ooh, and Dave Pickley is the author of Dog Man and Captain Underpants and Cat Cat. Right, and so John, who lives in Brooklyn, also is the, um, he's also been an artist and co-creator of graphic novels like Teen Boat, which was written by Dave Roman, and Kitten Construction Company is another book that he's made. Yeah. Okay, I think you just got distracted because you just saw a huge werewolf walk by, and we're not even lying. Am I right? Yeah, it's like, it, it used to be like, in like Home Depot, but I think, it, but it was like there's only one left, so I think it's already sold out, guys. Oh. So I don't. So I think the only place you can get it is probably eBay or something. Maybe we'll put this on your Instagram, which is Fonseca and Me. Wait, no. Is it, what is your Instagram handle? I think it's Fonseca Mommy and Me Show. You are right. So maybe we'll take a picture for the audience to do. Speaking of Halloween, didn't you read Investigators, which is a great website, investigator.com. Um, Book.com. Oh, investigatorsbook.com. And what did you go with your uh, with your dad to? Uh, we went to um, Pumpkin Patch, actually. Yeah, you went to Pumpkin Patch, right, in Pleasanton. And what did you do there? Oh, we went through a corn maze. I did like a bouncy thing. Like, um, if you go like on uh, YouTube, um, go search up for like um, a spirit store. Like, I'm showing you how to go. I'm showing you into the spirit store, and I am gonna. And I have a. And we have a part that's showing you when I go through the corn maze. Wait, so you went to the spirit store, so wait, you went from the jump house to the spirit store to the corn maze? Well, there's a jump thing you might jig. Well, I don't really know what the name was, but it was, you can bounce on it for like seven minutes. And then I went on a, a, a horse, like to, you know, like run, uh, running around, but they were holding it. So it was pretty a secure place. Horse or yeah. pony? A uh, horse. It was a horse. Whoa, that's pretty amazing. And then also, weren't you on a pile of corn? Yes, you were in a pile of corn. Was that relaxing? Because I saw some um, corn angels you were making. I think it's called corn, corn, oh snow angels. Really? Not corn on the cob. No. And then you've been eating a lot of what? Which you, nobody popcorn. with braces should have popcorn or. Colonel? Colonel. Colonels. Okay, what was the biggest highlight um, with your dad yesterday? Um, being scared of losing you because we did lose you in the corn race. Yeah, it's amazing when you have an emergency call and they just leave you behind. Usually, so what's the thing is, if someone gets lost, you should what? Go back for them, but like, it was way too dark. No, but if I'm the lost person, I actually stopped, wait for you, stay put, but you guys didn't look for me. It was so sad. Okay, so Corn Maze is amazing, and um, Mr. Fonseca did amazing editing of that, which will be on the YouTube channel on College to Number 4 All, so you guys could check that out. We'll put it on the Instagram, Fonseca Mommy and Me Show, and yeah, keep reading investigators, keep uh, howling for great Halloween opportunities, and what else? There's one more thing about the investigators' books. At Barnes and Noble, they sell investigators, but but here's a really good thing about it: if you like just read um, investigators, um, you read like one, two, three, four, but not five and six. Well, you should get at Barnes and Noble five and six because they have like posters for investigators because I think they are really cool. That sounds like a plan. Thanks, Barnum Nobles. Thanks to all our subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, follow us. And also to learn about other great shows, there is a Your Nerd Side and also College for All, SI Counseling, all edited and produced by the one and only Fonseca. Until next time. Bye-bye.